In this little quick fix, I'm going to show you how to hide the keyboard when either clicking on the return button or clicking outside the text field. It's a useful function, so I'm just going to show you how to implement it. Also, if you're looking for a more comprehensive tutorial, this is not it. This is just a quick fix video where I show you how to do simple things like, for example, hiding a keyboard. Let's get to it. Okay, so this is my app. This is the, my current state of the app. And as you can see, I can write as much as I want to into my text field, but I can't hide it by either clicking outside the keyboard or clicking the return button. And this is something that we want to change because if the user is presented with something like this, it can get pretty, pretty frustrating. So you want to add in the feature of so the user is able to hide the keyboard. Now, how do you do that? Well, it's actually pretty simple. So we can implement this code in a matter of minutes. Now, first of all, I want to show you my text field. It's right here. And I've also dragged it into my code and named it text field. Very simple, but very straightforward. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to add a delegate. So you want to add a UI text field delegate. That's the first thing you want to do. Now, the second thing you want to do is you want to add this delegate to the text field. So you do text field, uh, self dot text field, uh, the delegate is equal to self. That's the second thing you want to do. Now everything is set up for our code that is going to actually hide the keyboard. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to hide keyboard when user touches outside keyboard. Keyboard, that's the first thing we want to do. So we just put an override function and it's going to be touches began, here we go. Here we can write our code, self.view.endEditing, and we're going to set this to, to, let's see if it lets us, to true. Very simple, very straightforward. So that's the only piece of code that we need in order to hide our keyboard when the user touches outside the keyboard. Now we're going to look at how we can do it when the user presses return key and that's also pretty straightforward we're going to create a function and the text field should return here we go here it is then we're going to say text field dot oh text field our name of our text field dot resign first responder and as if we have to return something we are going to return true that's very true so now let's try to launch our app again and see if we have any success with hiding our keyboard when we a either touches touch outside the keyboard or b touch the return button so let's first try to touch outside the text field or the keyboard you write something here touches outside great awesome now we try to press the return button and there we go. That's how you hide the keyboard with some basic code. And um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you click the subscribe button for future awesome tutorials or quick fixes like this. And uh, thank you for watching. And as I said, make sure to subscribe.